Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are looking at Brad Keselowski's 2022 Kohler Generators um, 164th. You can see we've got the box artwork the same as all the others. And um, over here you can see number six Kohler Generator, or Kohler 2022 Mustang and Lionel, the official Diecast and NASCAR. That's literally the artwork for every car. Obviously the only things that change, driver name, driver name and sponsor. Everything else stays virtually the exact same. So let's go ahead and take a close look at the car itself. Um, you can see here, starting on the left side, we've got a nice big chrome number six here. Pushed a little too far forward in my personal opinion, but I understand why. You see they got Kohler generators and they ran out of room because of the ethanol ring. I've spoken about it before. I kind of wish they could have moved that ethanol ring on top of the car up there or something. Uh, something that would kind of help it get out of the way of that sponsor area. You know, something right up, like right there on the top and right there if they could have plugged it in from the top um that would have made more room i don't know if it was possible just a thought uh, but you can see the hood scoops a little bit better on this car uh so you can definitely see them there your last one was a matte black car and a matte green car so it was a little harder to see them uh, but you can definitely see them a little bit there good color combination though we have the bright matte white mixed with the light blue that goes to knit like a dark blue uh they also have the three little marks on the side same as this car here you can see those three little marks uh, in red and then here you got the three little marks in blue so it's kind of a Keselowski thing uh, so far I don't know if, if Busher's car has that I've noticed it on Keselowski's cars so far so we'll see uh, there's the right side of the car again chrome number really does look sharp uh, obviously it looks real sharp on a white background I have a nice white black uh, background here so it really shines it up and really makes it pop um you know, if you had a dark background, it may not pop quite as well, but it does look real solid. Uh, the blue really does not, uh, mix with the with the white pretty nicely. That dark blue uh, and white on the roof with the white or with the lighter blue outline, I think, looks pretty solid as well. Uh, and then, of course, we've got uh, this light blue stripe that kind of goes all the way around the car here. So overall, really nice looking paint scheme. I think it's one of the better cars of the year. I do like his Fastenal car just a tad more. I think it's the black and blue that just really pop. Uh, so I really like that car. It's probably my, this is probably my second favorite Keselowski car, but the Keselowski cars in general do look pretty solid this year so far. So definitely impressed with the, with the way that those cars are turning out. But uh, anyway, guys, that'll wrap up the review. Thanks for watching. This has been Race Craze. We will see you in the next Diecast Review.